You've got to be very quick because you've actually got a matinee today, haven't you? I've got you? a matinee. I've got to nip off, off over the river to a matinee very shortly. <laughs> so quick, quick, quick with those questions. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm so, going to start. Oh, you're going to start. Oh, right. yes. okay. Oh, okay. Is it all right if I start? Yes, yeah. it's all right, yeah. I used to work with you so long ago. I, I know. I can remember. <laughs> I'm getting no nightmares. You still have nightmares. <laughs> no, really. No, you, you, you were the person who said comedy is the new rock and roll, weren't you? Yes. Yeah, what is it now, Janet? <laughs> it's this. It's loose women. It is. It's the new rock and roll now. Why are you being nice I to am... me? <laughs> You're a nightmare to work with. Was I? No. Uh, no. You, Go of on... course, were just heaven. <laughs> yeah. Right, this was back when you were at the BBC. Are there going to be questions, questions about anything? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Just coming to your show, let me just say this. Yeah. No, you were a huge star when you played Lo the uh, London Arena. Wembley Arena. Wembley, Wembley yeah. Arena. Yeah. 12,500 people. Yeah. <laughs> I think that you might... <laughs> it's a long question. <laughs> David. Sorry, sorry. I've heard you've become nicer over the years. <laughs> um, I didn't know that about you. No. <laughs> <laughs> no I, Janet, honestly. No, I love Janet. No, oh, we God. did get on it's right. Spin it out! Spin it out! No, but What's you made a transition from being a comedian that did stand up like this. It's a long journey to the show that you're doing now. Yeah, it's a different kind of show now, although it is still, it's a stand-up show, totally. It's still yeah. totally, for me, a stand-up show, but it is a different type of stand-up show, that's right. It's more it, personal. But I love natural. the fact mm. yeah. that you're using the topics that have happened to you in your life, that are happening to you in your life, that have happened to some of us in our life, yeah. and letting people find humour mm. in it. Because yeah. My mother had Alzheimer's, and there are incredible moments of hilarity, well, but you feel you? guilty about well, one laughing. One of the things about uh, that is that since I've been doing stuff, because the show is about my mm, family, and yeah. it's about my mum uh, and her generally mad behaviour, and about my dad, who's still alive, and the fact that he's got mm. dementia. But one of the things is that people have started telling me stories since mm. I've been doing the show, both about their family secrets and about their relatives who have got dementia. I mean, Ruth Langston, who's on this mm, show, yeah, yeah, told yeah. me a story when I was on uh, Good Morning with her, it went like this. So you'll know this if you've got a relative with dementia. Mm. Is that sometimes you have to get a GP round, and they will ask that person very straightforward questions, yes, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so one question they always ask is, "Who's the prime minister?" So <laughs> this was in the 90s. Ruth Langston got uh, a GP round to talk to her dad and assess her dad. He was getting quite bad. And the first question was, "Who's the prime minister?" And her dad went, "Blair." And they thought, "Oh, he's got it right." And then he went, "Lionel." <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. David, yeah. you are up for an Olivier Award. I am. How do you feel about that? I am very excited about that. I still can't believe it because they don't have a category in the Olivier Awards, which is the Theatre Awards for stand-up. So I am in the Entertainment and Family category. Yes. Uh, now, anyone who's come and seen my show will know don't bring your 12-year-old. <laughs> really, it's not a show for all the family. I'm up against Cinderella at the London Palladium. <laughs> Peter Pan at the National and the Red Shoes, which is a ballet. And I have to wow. tell you, my show is very different. No, is shows. it? But I am still very... I'm very excited. It's brilliant. When you started to write the show, yeah. how did it go down with the rest of the family, with your partner and your... Children. Well, my partner was all right, uh, but my brothers yes. were the issue, yes. really. My brothers were the issue. I've got an older brother and a younger brother. And my older brother, he uh, wouldn't come at first because he was a bit worried about it. And then eventually he came to the show uh, on the opening night, uh, which is at a place called the Chocolate Factory, yeah, yeah. which is a, a theatre, not a euphemism. And uh, <laughs> I'll leave that with you. And, um, <laughs> and at that thing, at the end of it, at the end of my show, I do a Q&A &A um, with the audience. And I, all these critics were there. And I said to all the critics, probably alienating them at a stroke, like, I don't care what you think, I have to know what, what my older yeah. brother thinks. And oh. I said, Ivor, that's his name, what do you think? And he said, and God love him, it made me actually weep on stage. Oh. He, he said, I loved it because it made it feel like she was in the room. Oh. It's about our mum, yeah. right? I mean, actually, if you know about my mum... I'm mom, dying to know about your mum. She used easy. to come, she used to come, <laughs> right? She used to come to a lot of my shows. She would often heckle. <laughs> but there'd be quite mummish heckles. For example, once I was doing a show in Cambridge, I had a pint of beer on the stage, and at one point, some lads in the audience started egging me on to drink the pint of beer in one go. As I put it down, I heard my mum shout out, <laughs> I hope you've had something to eat tonight! <laughs> Mum is heckle ever. Did your mum used to bring her boyfriend with her? Well, now you've brought him up. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things I talk because the show is really about the, how you remember people. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, when my mum died at a funeral, there were all these people saying, "Oh, your mother was wonderful," and I thought you didn't really know her. Yeah. yeah. People do she, that all the time. They do it all the time, yeah. the time. and yeah. she Make she was all. wonderful, but not in the way you think. She wasn't an angel. She was a mentor. She yeah. was a complete mentor. <laughs> and she was particularly very upfront and keen to tell you about her sex life and her sex life. <laughs> her sex life within five seconds. She'd have told you yeah. within five seconds. She she, she would tell you mainly about she had a long-term affair with a golfing memorabilia salesman.
salesman. Um, and <laughs> as a result, my mum turned our life over to golf. Right? <laughs> Sometimes we didn't have food, we just had statues of Dietrich. <laughs> This is one of my mum's books. She wrote five of these books. Incredible. Golf memorabilia, right? She never played five golf. Five volumes? Five books about golf <laughs> memorabilia. she didn't even play golf. She didn't play golf. She was, <laughs> as I say, mental. Uh, but uh, can I just read you a little poem yes. that's at the top of this? There's always a little poem in these books. It goes, uh, What makes all cloudlets disappear and brightens life throughout the year? What binds in friendship strong, sincere? It's golf. 